Hey guys, Nigel here with you, Nigel's Modeling Bench. Um, just had an email from Pete, and basically he's asking me the question about Wingnut Wings coming back. Now, I don't know if any of you have seen anything. Um, I've had a quick look online, and I've had a look on YouTube, and Jason has put a video out already talking about this, and I've commented on that. Um, and basically, the question that Jason's asking is, are Kotori Models, a brand new model company in New Zealand, well, they, they started off in May, um, are they going to be the new Wingnut Wings? Uh, I don't think they will. You have a look and make your own mind up. It's Kotari, K-O-T-A-R-E, dash models dot com. If you want to go look at their website, they've got a kit in development. Apparently it is a World War II subject. We can only hope and pray it's the Lancaster, but I very much doubt that it is. Um, as for Wingnut Wings coming back under this company's name, I don't think that's going to happen because... Um, Peter Jackson, I think, has Wingnut Wings very, very close to his heart. It was making a loss all the time he was um, doing it. And it was just a passion. It was like a massive hobby of his. And in the end, um, it had to go for whatever reasons. There's all sorts of rumours. Now, I have I have spoken to somebody uh, who works in the um, model retail in, in industry. And they were saying they... Apparently in New Zealand there is a rule that says you can't bring a company back for less in less than two years. If a company a company goes bust, they have to have you know they have to close the doors for at least two years before it can reopen. I personally think Wingnut Wings will come back as Wingnut Wings, not as this new company, because it's very suspicious, isn't it, that the Wing the Wingnut Wings website is still fully open and operational. You can click on all the kits, you all their archive photos are still up, all their artwork's still up. You know, everything is still there. Um, it's never been closed down, which is very, very unusual. So if you want some good reference photos for your models, including the Lancaster, get over to Wingnut Wings, have a look and um, click on it and you'll see you'll see the archive photos and stuff. It's fantastic. But uh, this new company, it's exciting because um, it's got Richard in there and basically that's that's that means it's going to be awesome. And they've got two of their top designers as well from Wingnut Wings. So it's going to be awesome. Um, as I say, rumours are they're working on a, a Second World War aircraft. Don't know what it's going to be. Uh, it'd be nice to see an accurate P-51B for a change. Um, and not another bloody ME-109. <laughs> or another bloody P-51D. Um, but anyway, it'd be interesting to see. Let's go and have a look at the website. There's only a couple of images on there which are very, very simple. Uh, one looks like a, um, a cloth surface with, uh, you know spars or something underneath it and the other looks like a riveted sort of overlap surface so it looks like the surface detail is going to be awesome just like wingnut wings was um but they're probably going to be amazing kits because it's richard isn't it you know it's, it won't be any rubbish they they'll be awesome so um anyway Go and have a look and make your own mind up. Please leave comments down below. Um, if you have spent a fortune on Wingnut Wings kits, I wouldn't worry too much. I don't think, even if they do get hold of the Wingnut Wings moulds and re-release the kits under their own name, I think the Wingnut Wing kits with their instructions and their amazing decals and that, I don't think they'll ever um, reduce in value. People people used to buy the instruction books after people had finished the kits. It's just crazy. So, you know, it's worth um, worth holding on to them. Don't worry about it. Um, if you've paid £850 for a Gotha G4, I think you might live to regret it, but we'll see. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. I'll see you all soon. I've got a review coming up for you as well later on today. Bye for now.